Montiara International School, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I've had the prestige of going participating in a lot of almond debates as well as many other ones. <coughs> so now let me look, let me go through the procedure. So for this debate, it is a hybrid between APQ, Advisory Panel, and Security Council to be a procedure. We'll go clause by clause, and delegates are to introduce clauses in the debate as amendments, and P5 nations will hold veto power for the following. Clauses, resolution as a whole, P5 nations will not be allowed to veto for amendments. Just, just making sure the P5 nations are China, France, US, UK, and Russia. Yes, same thing. And let me just get the resolution, well, black resolution up on the board. Can all delegates see the resolution? Okay, seeing that all delegates can see the resolution on the board, the chair will now commence. The House will now come to order. The next resolution to be debated is on the question of Iraq. The chair now sets an open debate time of an hour and 30 minutes on this resolution. Are there any delegates that wish to speak on the resolution as a whole? Uh, seeing that delegates are not able to understand the black resolution. It is not a joke. It is the way APQ run, this APQ slash SC debate will run. Uh, delegates are to introduce their own clauses rather than debating on a pre-made clause, making it more interactive, therefore. So the chair now repeats, are there any delegates that wish to speak on a resolution and perhaps introduce a new clause? The chair repeats, are there any delegates that wish to speak on a resolution as a whole and perhaps introduce a new clause? Delegates, delegates should have pre-written clauses ready for debate. Yes, uh, Delegate France, there are no preempts, it's just operative clauses. In order to allow some of the delegates to finish writing their clauses, the chair will now set a five minute indoor caucus. Unmoderated caucus.
Time for the caucus has now elapsed. We'll now move into open debate on the resolution. Are there any delegates that would speak on the resolution as a whole? Delegate of Columbia, you've been recognized. Delegate of Columbia has submitted an amendment. That is in order. The amendment reads, add a new clause, clause 1 urges member states to help in the reconstruction of the infrastructure in Iraq by providing assistance in regards to subclause A, supplying of wa supply of water, subclause B, an adequate supply of energy, subclause C, health care, subclause D, social security, and subclause E, education. The chair now sets an open debate time of five minutes, the chair stands corrected, a closed debate time of five minutes for, and five minutes against. Delegate, you now have the floor. Uh, Honorable delegates and esteemed chairs, the first way to build up any country is to build up its infrastructure from inside out and not to stabilize the country beforehand. Currently, the people in Iraq are facing a situation where they are fighting for their survival. Therefore, these five basic elements for survival are required for people in Iraq to even have a chance of survival. The supply of water, energy, health care, social security, and education. And we believe they are essential for recreating Iraq from the rubble in which it has fallen into. Thank you. Is the delegate open to any points of information? Any and all pertaining to his speech. The delegate has delegates. Please wait for the chair to ask for points of information. The delegate has opened himself up to any and all points of information regarding his speech. Are there any in the house at this time? Delegate of India, China, Germany, and France, you've been recognized. And delegates, please do not put down your placards until the delegate has finished asking his point of information. Thank you. How does the delegate propose member states help in the reconstruction of Iraq's infrastructure? as the delegate of India feels that this clause only states what they may need help with. Could the chair ask the delegate to rephrase her question? Could the delegate please rephrase her question? Uh, could the delegate of India please rephrase your question? Seeing as she is facing technical difficulties, we'll now move to Delegate of China and come back to Delegate of India when her technical issues are solved. Thank you, Chair. Um, could the Chair please ask the Delegate of um, Colombia uh, how, in regards to subclause A, we're going to increase the supply of water to Iraq when we ourselves often have to worry about our own nation's um, issues in terms of infrastructure and supply of water and health care and social security, how are we expected to provide this for Iraq? This clause is not a mandate, but rather a desperate um, plea for help. It is not necessary for each country to attend to their needs, but there are countries where water is available in excess and they're storing it for their future use. Rather than showing it for future use, it would be better to help the present situation so that the future can be made better. Therefore, countries which do have an adequate supply of water and have a surplus, they are asked to um, uh, supply some water to Iraq. Thank you. Delegate of Germany? Delegate would like to retract this point of information as, as it has already been answered. Thank you. Delegate France. Uh, how will the delegate of Colombia protect uh, resources such as uh, energy and water supplies in a country as unstable as Iraq? The resources such as energy which is placed in the current government's hand, the government is obviously a democratic government at the moment, albeit a forced one, but the energy would be placed in the protection of the government 
and the government will place it in any place it would feel suitable. Thank you. Uh, Delegate of Morocco and Delegate of the U.S., is there a reason the delegates have, the delegates have raised their placards? Uh, yes, the delegate wanted to ask the delegate of Colombia a question concerning his clause. However, Thank seeing you. that... Um, I wanted to ask a question to the delegate of the U.S. I wanted to ask a question to... Seeing as the chair has not recognized the delegate of Morocco and the delegate of USA yet, uh, could the delegate please ask a point of information to the chair? asking if it would be in order to extend points of information, just following procedure. Uh, that can be done by just raising the placard and clicking the talk button. May the delegate of Morocco please ask the delegate of Colombia a question concerning his clause. That will be in order. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, the chair has corrected. Are there any delegates that wish to speak that wish to ask a point of information to the delegate of Colombia, delegate of Morocco, India, and USA? You can recognize in that order, please. Uh, the delegate of Morocco would like to ask the delegate of uh, Colombia uh, how he plans to provide health care, uh, how he plans to set up uh, things such as hospital and employ doctors, uh, as well as education, which is uh, very, very expensive. And uh, seeing as this clause uh, does not include uh, uh, anything at all about funding, like not even likely touching upon it. It's uh, very surreal to the delegate of Morocco personally. When the delegate has mentioned health care in his clause, he meant to say that they should provide the basic health care, not pertaining to doctors, but basic health care such as vaccinations for children. Um, in response to the delegate's comment about the education, education is not expensive. As you have seen, the government of India has provided free education to its citizens even though uh, up to 14 years of age, even though many places in India are pretty remote. As for, as for the part of funding, this is an optional, this is optional for countries. It urges countries to a desperate call for help. It is not mandatory, it is not obligatory on the countries to provide help, although it will pretty much help, uh, it will help the country pretty much as Iraq is the storehouse of energy in itself. Request follow-up. I'll be granted. Uh, delegate, uh, uh, in the case of India, yes, they did manage to do this. Uh, however, in the case of Iraq, I really don't see how. And uh, if India did this, can you please explain to me and to the other delegates how they d did this and where they got the funding from and the amount of teachers to satisfy uh, the country, which has 1.4 billion, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure it's over 1 billion uh, people, and uh, lots of them uh, being uh, under the age of 18. If the delegate is not wrong, Iraq in itself has educated people, and there's no need to bring special educators or teachers or professors from outside. If the Iraqis are willing, they will form their own schools or basic schools to teach their children or to form a community to help, uh, to help each other to learn. Uh, thank you. Delegate of India. The delegate apologizes because uh, due to technical difficulties, she wasn't able to rephrase her question, so she will do so now. Um, how does the delegate of Colombia propose member states help in the reconstruction of Iraq's infrastructure, as the delegate of India feels this cause only states what they may need help with, but does not provide a specific solution? 
Rather, Vindhya has rightly understood the situation. If this clause is just urging members, it is not, it's not obligatory on the member states. It is not necessary for them to act on it. However, it urges them to help in the reconstruction infrastructure in the following years. Because if they do help Iraq, you never know, Iraq will become a, uh, will become a, a big storehouse of energy in the future. And they are helping the present today to help build the future. Thank you. Delegate of USA. Um, the Delegate of USA would like to inquire about subclause A, uh, which reads, um, in regards to supply of water. Now, um, if the delegate is aware of the fact, um, most Middle Eastern countries are now suffering uh, from the lack of water supplies. Um, how is it that the delegate suggests uh, solving this issue by simply stating what it is without stating solutions? The delegate believes he has answered this question before. However, he will repeat his answer. Supply of water, what he means to say by this is that he doesn't mean that water should only come from the neighboring countries. Countries that have adequate supply of water for themselves and have a surplus supply of water should be able to distribute it to countries which are in need. In this case, it is Iraq. Because if they have the present situation today, they can help improve the future situation. It is a double win and the delegate of Colombia does not find any reason why sir, countries which have surplus of water should be hesitant. Instead of keeping it as a future store, if they use it today, they'll be helping to make the future a better place. Request to follow up. Granted. <clears throat> the answer provided by the delegate of Colombia only proves to show that um, the delegate is uh, unaware of the fact that uh, there are many other solutions to the problem, and therefore uh, this cause would be um, invalid in, unless we see those solutions. Isn't the delegate aware of the fact? that Iraq does have uh, water supplies, uh, such as groundwater supplies, but does not have the equipment to reach it, and not stating that in the solution would be uh, very vague. The delegate is requesting member states to help in supply of water by any means possible. It is not necessary to tap into the hidden water resources of Iraq. It is asking for help in any means possible because the situation over there is so critical, people are battling for survival. Not for living, but for survival. Thank you. Would the delegate please yield the floor back to the chair? The delegate yields the floor to the chair. Thank you. Time for this amendment has now elapsed. We'll now move to we'll now move to our time against. Before the chair asks if there are any delegates that wish to speak on the resolution as a whole, the chair would like to remind the House that oops, that delegates should refrain from using personal pronouns such as I and me and refer to themselves in third person. So are there any delegates that will speak against this amendment to first degree? Delegate of Morocco, you can recognize. The delegate of Morocco strongly disagrees with this uh, clause. However, it does bring up some valid points and can't see the delegate of Colombia's point of view, but it is just simply too vague. Uh, and it and the clause does not demand anything, making it option, uh, making it an option for all of the countries, and uh, most, some of the countries, well, a, a large majority of the countries present, can barely support themselves, uh, let alone support another nation, such as Azerbaijan, Colombia itself, uh, India, Pakistan, uh, Portugal, and myself, Morocco, uh, are not able to aid Iraq in any way, for we are not able to support ourselves fully yet. So the delegate does not see how uh, we're going to, the the, delig uh, the Security Council will provide a supply of water. Uh, uh, we could take it from the Tigris and the Euphrates and then filter it out and support it to the people, but that is not mentioned in the clause and should be mentioned in the clause. We cannot just state that we want to supply water. Uh, be an adequate supply of energy. 
There are many, many forms of energy. Uh, however, also not mentioned how and which type. For example, uh, we could resort to nuclear energy, but I'm sure a large majority of the population in Iraq and a large majority of the population uh, uh, of the members of the Security Council would disagree. Uh, health care also, he did not even bother writing basic health care, just wrote health care, and that means all of the health care. However, he did point that out uh, when, uh, I, when I asked about this and in his reply. But it must be mentioned in the clause for the Delegate of Colombia will not be able to explain that to everybody who's going to be setting up the health care in Iraq. The social security uh, didn't even ask about that because I'm pretty sure they have some form of that in Iraq. And e-education, uh, once again, the, these are all topics that would need a whole other resolution to, uh, to adequately supply each of these and cannot be a sub-clause. Thank you. Is the delegate open to any points of information? Any and all. The delegate has opened himself up to any and all points of information, but due to time constraints, the chair will only entertain four. Are there any in the House at this time? The delegate of USA, France, and Colombia, and Germany, you have recognized. In that order, please. <coughs> Um, within the delegate agreed that the only reason an amendment should be passed is because it would um, enhance the quality of a, reso a resolution and um, a pa passing this amendment would simply um, uh, destroy the resolution we are currently debating. Indeed, the delegate does agree with the delegate of the United States and thanks the delegate for bringing up such a point and would like to urge him to use his veto power against this. Uh, as well as try pointing out that uh, the amendments needed to this clause would well overdo the two-thirds majority rule of the United Nations, making this amendment, uh, this clause automatically fail. So, delegates, I seriously urge you to, instead of wasting time and then going over the whole resolution and then it fails automatically, we just veto it out now. Delegate of France. Does the delegate uh, not believe that filtering and transporting water, uh, as stated in his speech, shall be an expensive matter and that uh, it may not even reach the populace of Iraq? As the delegate also mentioned in his question towards the delegate of Colombia, it does not even touch upon the funding and it does not have an obligation for the funding which uh, makes it very surreal, uh, at least for the delegate of Morocco, and would like to urge the delegate of France as well to use his veto power against this clause. The delegate um, of Colombia would like to the delegate of Colombia would like to re, uh, withdraw his point of information. That is in order. Delegate of Germany. Does the delegate not agree that this amendment is merely ill-contrived hopes written on a piece of paper with no credi credible method stated to actually achieve them? It does agree to some extent, but however, I commend the delegate of Colombia for uh, seriously considering the points that are uh, in in matter of this in matter of discussing in this. Uh, 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 in this resolution, but it is just too vague, and this this whole this clause could make up six resolutions by itself easily. Thank you. Would the delegate please yield the floor back to the chair? The delegate yields the floor back to the chair. Thank you. We'll now move directly to voting procedures. There will be votes for and against. All against votes will be counted as a veto for all P5 nations. Please bear that in mind. All delegates voting against for, please click the check mark. All delegates voting against, please click the cross.
with one vote for and 11 votes against, do you, this amendment fails. We'll now move start, we will now move back into open debate on the resolution as a whole. Are there any delegates that wish to speak on a resolution as a whole? Delegate of USA, you've been recognized. Point of inquiry towards the chair. That uh, is in order. Uh, the pad that I am on has only the delegate of Colombia's uh, uh, clause, and I cannot see anything else. Uh, if delegates are having problem uh, viewing the time pad, please. There's a big time slider on top of the pad, and if you drag the slider to the right, you'll see the current version, which has all the amendments from China, UK, Germany, France, USA, and Russia. Um. <coughs> Being the delegate of USA, um, <coughs> Doug, it does support this resolution uh, to a certain extent. Um, however, all in all, the delegates view on um, this resolution would be uh, very supportive. First of all, um, the delegate believes that this resolution does tackle one of the most the heart, um, worrying issues in, in Iraq at the moment, which is the stability um, of, of the country. Um, the delegate would also like um, the delegates to go down to, to clause 10. Uh, the delegate will focus on this cause because the delegate sent it in and believes that um, all delegates should be able to understand the purpose behind this cause. Cause 10 reads, requests the creation of subcommittee in UNAMI to uh, guarantee stability of the Iraqi government. Um, well, basically what, what we uh, wish to do here is to eliminate the threat of uh, corruption in the future in the Iraqi government uh, as uh, we have seen over the past few years. Uh, therefore, uh, the delegate of QSA would urge all delegates to vote for this resolution um, it's because it does, in fact, um, enable the USA to rebuild Iraq, which is a country that has been uh, uh, <coughs> uh, suffering for the past few years because of an uh, unjust uh, ruling system. Um, but the delegates also like to point out that the delegate does find some cause to be um, rather um, accusing of the USA. These causes do tend to accuse the USA of certain um, actions. However, the delegate does not agree with those clauses and um, would like uh, the, the people who wrote those clauses to specify more. Because, for example, in, in Clause 11, it talks about violence towards Iraqi civilians. Um, the delegate would simply ask the delegates of Germany to emphasize on the fact that um, this uh, this violence is actually terrorism and it's not committed by the USA as uh, the United States troops, the American troops are actually protecting these citizens and that's one of the moral issues we have with asking our soldiers to retreat from Iraq. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just a reminder to all delegates, please refrain from using personal pronouns such as I and me. The chair repeats once again. And also, if the clauses on the screen are amendments, therefore they are not actually in the resolution. The actual resolution has nothing in it at this moment. These are all amendments waiting to be debated. Uh, that includes the value of USA's clause, so, uh, clause 10. Uh, coming back to the topic, uh, would, is the delegate open to any points of information? Any and all. The delegate has opened himself up to any and all points of information. Are there any in the House at this time? Delegate of China and Colombia, you've been recognized, and India, you've been recognized. Could the Chair please ask the Delegate of the United States how, seeing as it is no small fact that the largest United States Embassy in the world is actually stationed in Iraq, how we need further surveillance of the nation when in fact both your leader and the international community insists that we pull all troops out of Iraq for the betterment of both Iraq and the rest of the Middle East. 
Okay, well, the Zagid is suggesting um, why the troops in Iraq have not been put out of Iraq. Well, the Zagid has a Zagid TSA previously stated that, talking about the resolution, which apparently is not a resolution, it's an amendment. Uh, Zagid apologizes. Now, I'm um, tackling the question held by the Zagid of Colombia. The reason the, the um, U.S. troops are not currently um, retreating from uh, Iraq is because um, Iraq is facing a huge amount of uh, instability. Um, also, the delegate of USA would like to remind the delegate of Colombia that up to this point, all uh, procedures regarding uh, the retreatment of um, the U.S. soldiers from Iraq have gone as scheduled, which means that the U.S. Uh, has committed to their promised delegate uh, of retreating, uh, the, of taking the soldiers back uh, from Iraq. Also, the Zagid is would like to point out that the Zagid finds it confusing that the Zagid of Colombia is actually opposing this, uh, since the Colombian government did support it, being uh, being a great ally of the USA. The Colombian government did support the USA's actions. That's the only point being held by the Zagid, and by the USA's actions, the Zagid means uh, uh, the plan set for um, taking soldiers out of Iraq. Uh, the delegate of China believes that the delegate of the United States has uh, spoken inaccurately in calling this delegate the delegate of Colombia when indeed he is from the Great Republic of the People's Republic of China. Your grievances um, have been noted, delegate of China, and there will be no direct dialogue between delegates. Delegate of Colombia. Does the delegate of USA believe that deploying watchdogs are enough for actually monitoring the military resources, distribution in Iraq, factories that manufacture firearms and reporting any shipments, rather than manual or radioactive equipment to actually monitor the um, these things? Um, well, actually, Zagid does believe uh, that this would be rather successful. Um, first of all, um, sending these watchdogs, they will have access to um, these companies and these people uh, and their files and their records without actually intervening in their lives, instead of sending other, let's say, uh, forms of, uh, like, let's say, troops to watch these companies. That could be rather unsettling. Um, when discussing the issue of, uh, let's say, firearms, uh, and uh, having to watch those factories that do produce firearms. Um, we, are we are taking this as an example in general for the exports uh, of uh, Iraq, and <clears throat> sending these watchdogs to these factories will be enough because they will have access to every single item being exported, every single item being manufactured. Therefore, um, a certain amount of bullets, let's say, or uh, ammunition or uh, uh, weaponry will not be lost. Uh, and sold by the government or government officials who are uh, accused of corruption. Right to follow up? Granted. What makes the delegate of USA feel that all the military resource factories and firearm factories would willingly allow watchdogs from the government to enter them um, provided that there's a lot of sectarian violence and terrorism going on over there? Well, firstly, the delegates was actually aware of the fact that um, watchdogs are currently deployed in these factories. They are observing everything that is going on. Um, but they're not watchdogs that simply go there to observe what's going on. They have troops with them. Uh, now, since the troops are retreating, now we do have the consent of these factories, since the, the, the troops were there earlier. Uh, now, since the troops are retreating, according to the USA's scheduled plan, uh, we would suggest simply sending these watchdogs without the troops uh, just to watch over the factories. Um, and the Zagid believes that uh, sending troops continuously is, is a burden on uh, the USA and would be rather unsettling for um, those companies and those people accused of corruption. So the target would just like to point out that those factories do indeed, um, we do have their consent to watch over their uh, items being manufactured. Could the delegate 
define what they mean by monitor, as in some cases it could mean simply watching without keeping records, and how will they ensure the watchdogs will not be biased or influenced in any way? Uh, well, the Dalgis PSA by, by saying um, monitor, the Dalgis PSA does mean uh, to watch over these uh, uh, factories and write uh, write them down. Dugget uh, PSA apologizes for not um, uh, carefully writing that down. And um, by by stating that these uh, watchdogs will not be influenced, uh, these watchdogs will not remain in the factories uh, for long periods of time. Uh, they will go for um, inspections. Uh, that that was the same system being followed um, uh, over the past few years. Where these watchdogs would only go, let's say, uh, on a fortnightly basis, which is basically every two weeks, uh, for uh, a period of one hour to five hours, depending on the size of the factory, of the size factory, they would simply uh, look at the factory, look at the exports, at the records, and leave. So, um, by stating that they could, for example, be bribed, well, um, those watchdogs are, are sent in, in groups and uh, the records are viewed time and time again. So by, for example, if a watchdog writes down records that are uh, not valid or uh, not true, then uh, we could observe the pattern that occurred uh, and we would know that there is certain corruption with these watchdogs. Follow up. Sanford Trace, that will be denied. Would the delegate please yield the floor back to the chair or to another delegate? Uh, delegate France, please rise and sit your point. Uh, the delegate would like to request a motion to extend points of information to the delegate of USA. Just a reminder to all the House, according to time procedure, the motion to extend points of information is not no longer a motion. The correct procedure is to ask a point of information to the chair and ask if it is in order to extend points of information by X amount of them, X amounts. However, due to time constraints, that will not be entertained. Would the delegate like to yield the floor back to the chair or to another delegate? Is it in order to yield the floor to the delegates of Morocco? That is in order. Delegate Morocco, you now have the floor. Can the delegate yield the floor back to the chair since he has nothing to say? That is in order. Uh, delegates are reminded to only yield to delegates that know of yielding and have prepared speeches beforehand. With that, are there any are there any delegates that wish to speak on the resolution as a whole? Delegate UK, you have recognized. The delegate has submitted two amendments. That is in order. Uh, which amendment does the delegate wish to introduce? Uh, can the delegate start with number three, please? That is in order. The amendment reads to add clause three, the science introduced a UNAMI, UNAMI police force, in order to control the recent wave of sectarian violence following the arrest warrant issued for Vice President Al Hashimi. The chair sets a close debate time of four minutes for and four minutes against. Delegate, you know, four. Thank you, Chair. The theme delegates, we in the Security Council are supposed to provide just that, security. We can't sit by while 70 people die from multiple bombings targeting religious pilgrims. We can't watch arms tied behind our backs while a bomb kills 53 Shiites. The delegate of the UK believes we've done nothing for too long. We must act now. The army is currently employed in Iraq, to great effect, and a police force will greatly improve the safety of the citizens. We can walk the streets with security of knowing that someone is watching over them, ensuring their welfare. This clause not only enhances resolution. It, by introducing a UNAMI police force, 
uh, many of the bombings would come down, and civilians would not need to needlessly die. I urge you to support this amendment, and to vote, not just for this resolution, but for ensuring the security of people worldwide. Thank you. Thank you. Is the delegate open to any point of information? The delegate is open to any of all points of information pertaining to the clause. The delegate has opened itself up to any and all points of information, information pertaining to its clause. Are there any in the house at this time? Delegate of India, you've been recognized. How will the delegate of the UK <laughs> ensure that the police force will not be corrupt? Thank you, delegate of India, for that insightful point of information. But the uh, UNAMI is uh, the United Nations assistant mission in Iraq. Uh, it's under the UN, and none of us here are corrupt, and therefore. Uh, UNAMI isn't corrupt, so the police force wouldn't be under Iraqi control, it would be under UN control. Thank you. Are there any further points of information for the Delegate of UK? Delegate of Morocco, you've been recognized. Uh, the Delegate would like to ask the Delegate of the United Kingdoms uh, why would the Iraqi government agree to an outside uh, organization taking over their country without their control? Thank you, Delegate. Simply to stop civilians from dying. If 70 people are dying because of one car bomb, then clearly the police in Iraq can't handle it. And I'm sure any outside influence would be greatly welcomed in order to stop civilians dying, because that's what we're here to, that's what the Security Council delegates are here to do. We're here to provide security for civilians worldwide. And this clause would definitely ensure that, right on the ground where it's needed. Request follow up. Granted. Uh, is the delegate aware that many Iraqi citizens themselves uh, are not trusting of, not even their own government, let alone another outside government, for they fear that their own government is puppeted by the United States. So why would they let a UN organization, which they also fear is puppeted by the United States, interfere when the Iraqis themselves can sort out the troubles? And that's what has been going on for the past year and a half. I don't believe that we should allow people's suspicions to get into this. The delegate doesn't believe that we should allow people's suspicions to get into this. We're here to save lives, and this clause would save lives. And that, that's this delegate's opinion. Thank you. Would the delegate like to yield the floor? I could chair, or to another delegate? This delegate would like to yield the floor back to the chair and then swiftly raise his placard to go to the close floor. Thank you, Delia. Uh, just a reminder to the House, as this is an amendment after the delegate retracts his black eye, uh, yields the floor back to the chair, we'll move to the time against, and then we'll move to open debate on the resolution as a whole. When then delegates can introduce new clauses through amendments. With that, the time for this amendment has now elapsed. We'll now move directly into time against. Are there any delegates that will speak against the amendment? Delegate of India, you have enough, you've recognized. The delegate of India urges all delegates to vote against this amendment as it First of all, does not consider whether Iraq will welcome this interference, and it is also incredibly vague. Thank you. 
Does the delegate open to any points of points of information? One pertaining to her speech. Does Alan Gavindi has opened herself up to one point of information? Are there any in the house at this time? Delegate of the UK, you've been recognized. Thank you, uh, Honor Chair. This delegate would like to ask the delegate of India whether we should allow people's suspicions of the UN get in the way of saving lives and whether, whether a, a population's dislike of outside interference should have an influence on us trying to help civilians. Could the chair please ask the delegate to rephrase that question? That is in order. Would delegate of UK please rephrase his point of information? Of course. The delegate was trying to ask the delegate of India. <coughs> apologies. <coughs> trying to ask the delegate of India whether delegate, the delegate of India feels that we should allow nations, uh, populations, suspicions of the UN get in the way of saving lives. No, but Iraq is currently in a fragile state and if actions such as the one proposed by the delegate of the UK are not carefully considered, they may worsen the situation. Thank you. Would the delegate please yield the floor back to the chair or to not the delegate? All right, sorry. Um, the delegate would like to yield the floor back to the chair. Thank you. Are there time? Time against this amendment has not elapsed yet. Are there any delegates that wish to speak against this amendment? Fellow of Columbia, you have the floor. After reading this amendment, the delegate of Colombia feels that this amendment will only worsen the situation. The UNAMI police force would try to control the wave of sectarian violence. How? Again, using violence, right? I mean, uh, the delegate means that they're going to be controlling them, but this will only increase the agitation and the aggression of the uh, sectarian violence. It will, number one, worsen the type of violence they do, and number two, they will invite more people to their cause to rebel against this supposedly new police force. Thank you. Thank you. Is the delegate open to any points of information? Two pertaining to his speech. The delegate has opened himself up to two points of information. Delegates are to uh, not raise their placards until the chair has called for point of information. So, with that, are there any delegates? The chair sounds corrected. Are there any points of information on the on the house? Delegate of UK, you can recognize. Thank you, Chair. The delegate of the UK feels he must valiantly jump to the defense of his clause by asking the delegate, uh, when you say, how are we going to control violence with more violence, right? No, we're not going to, we're not going to use violence to control that. No civilized police force runs off terror, runs off fear. And the delegate would like to ask the delegate who just, uh, <clears throat> who just spoke against this amendment, why does he feel that this uh, UN-controlled police force will, res will have to resort to violence? The delegate did not understand what the delegate of the UK was trying to ask. Could the, delegate, could the chair ask the delegate to please rephrase his question? Would the delegate of the United Kingdom please rephrase his point of information? Of course, this delegate would like to ask the delegate, why does the delegate of Colombia, is it Colombia? Apologies if it's not Colombia. Why does this delegate feel that, or why this delegate feels that the UNAMI police force will have to resort to violence to control the situation in Iraq? 
sectarian violence literally means that different types of communities or sects are fighting to remove each other from the race to achieve, um, to reach the higher echelon of society. They want to have control of society and they want to eliminate other portions of society. Obviously, they're not going to welcome a separate police force that is trying to come and contain them. They're not going to be willing to negotiate with them. All they want to do is to be able to control society and to be able to remove the other sect out of the way. They have no other motive. Therefore, a Yunami police force would have to resort to violence. Negotiation would not be possible. And with more violence, the sectarian violence will become much more aggressive. And hence, the situation would worsen. Thank you. Right, the follow-up. Uh, the correct term would be a follow-up requested. That is granted. Apologies, Chair. Follow-up requested. Thank you very much. Uh, this delegate will try and enunciate so I don't have to rephrase anything. Uh, this delegate, when uh, the delegate of Colombia said that all the Iraqi people want to do is control society, they clearly failed to do that because 70 people died from one bombing. 53 people died from a car bombing. They, they, they clearly can't control anymore. And surely this delegate would like to ask the delegate of Colombia, we're trying to save lives. And surely, through this clause, we're going to save more lives. And that's what the delegates in the Security Council are supposed to do. The delegate of Colombia, first of all, does not remember saying that Iraqi citizens cause violence, but rather remembers saying that uh, he said that it was sectarian violence. And um, although you will be killing people to save lives, the more people you kill from the sectarian violence groups, the more their aggression will increase. It's, a two, it's, a, it's uh, almost proportional. If you kill more people from a certain group, they will try to seek revenge. They will try to avenge it. The violence will become worse. And then again, the Nami police force would have to resort to violence to fix everything. And fighting fire with fire is not really a good choice. Thank you. Would the delegate please yield the floor? Thank you, Chair. The delegate yields the floor to the Chair. Thank you. Time again to spend. Time on this amendment has a hold, has not elapsed. We'll now move directly into voting procedures. The chair reminds the House that there are votes for and against. All P5 delegations voting against this clause will all votes against this cl this clause by the P5 nations will be counted as a veto. The chair reminds the House that all delegates must vote. Delegate of Pakistan. Assuming that she is away from keyboard, the chair, ah, never mind, with five votes for, three votes against, with no P5 nations voting against, with six votes for and three votes against, this amendment passes. Please make the relevant changes in your resolution. We'll now move to we'll now move to open debate on the resolution as a whole. Are there any delegates that will speak on the resolution as a whole? Delegate of Germany, you can recognize. This delegate has submitted an amendment to the resolution. That is in order. Which amendment does the Delegate of Germany wish to entertain? It is the one numbered six on the pad. That is in order. The amendment reads, Clause 6, calls for a meeting, convening before the 28th of July, 2012, to discuss issues pertaining to UNAMI, such as, but not limited to, subclause A, the extension of its mandate for another 12 months or more, subclause B, Possible changes to its mandate. Two, sub sub clause one, address the security needs of its on site staff. Sub clause, sub 
Subsoil Clause 2 increases ability to settle disputes in Iraq. Subsoil Clause 3 enable it to act as an advisor to the Anti-Corruption Agency. Subclause C proposals to the General Assembly to increase funding and all other necessary resources. It requires to effectively accomplish its mission outlined in its mandate. The chair sets a close bait time of five minutes for and five minutes against. Delegate, get out the floor. The amendment that this delegate has submitted deals with UNAMI, which is the United Nations Assistance Mission to Iraq. It basically acts as the United Nations voice in Iraq by advising the government um, and on what the UN wants it to do. However, the UNAMI's mandate is about to end in a month or so, in a couple of months or so, as it has been extended only for a peri period of 12 months last year. This amendment calls for a meeting, and not necessarily the UNAMI being extended, but a meeting so that further debate can be um, held to extend the mandate if it is necessary and if the mandate does get extended um, additional changes to its mandate as currently it requires more, more, abil more abilities than it already has. For example, um, as the delegate of the UK has stated, peacekeeping as currently it is mostly an advisory um, organization to the government rather than one which keeps peace in Iraq and therefore it has no ability to protect its own staff in Iraq. Um, also, um, in Iraq there is widespread corruption and to the UNAMI which will be an unbiased organization as it is from the UN, it can effectively act as an anti-corruption agency or advise the one already existing in Iraq. Lastly, subclause C proposes the General Assembly so that more funding could be allocated to UNAMI so that it could um, accomplish its tasks, for example, set up more stations, um, enlist more people so that it's more effective in Iraq. Thank you. Thank you. Is the delegate open to any point of information? Any and all? The delegate has opened itself to any and all points of information. Are there any in the House at this time? Delegate of India, USA, and France, you can recognize that order, please. Who does the delegate feel should attend this meeting as this is not mentioned in the submitted clause? This delegate um, implies that this meeting would be one of the Security Council. If the delegate of India would like to add an amendment to the second degree to include that, please feel free to do so. Delegate USA. Referring to uh, subclause C, which reads proposals to the General Assembly to increase funding. Now, um, isn't Delegate aware of the fact that funding is usually not discussed in the General Assembly? And um, wouldn't Delegate agree that this should be aimed at the ECOSOC instead of General Assembly, where um, in the ECOSOC we can tackle funding um, more thoroughly? This, if this delegate is not mistaken, the General Assembly is responsible for the funding of the United Nations and its bodies and sub-bodies, and ECOSOC is discussing economic issues but not pertaining to the funding of the General Assembly of the United Nations. I apologize. Does the delegate uh, not believe that uh, the UNAMI could also act as a liaison for talks between uh, Iraq and Israel and also maybe 
the sectarian groups that are causing unrest and violence within the nation. Can the chair please ask the delegate of France to rephrase, to repeat his question? That is the order. The delegate of France, please repeat, 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 repeat slash rephrase his question. question. Does the delegate of, uh, does the delegate not believe that UNAMI could also act as a liaison for talk between Israel and uh, the sectarian groups in, uh, in the nation of Iraq? Um, unfortunately, no, this delegate does not agree because UNAMI is specific to the situation in Iraq and not pertaining to its relation to any other countries. Therefore, as the delegate of France has stated, it, um, uh, pertaining to the relations of other countries in the Middle East, that would not be what its main function is, as its main function is to advise the, gov the Iraqi government as well as keeping, well, not keeping peace, but maintaining the quorum in Iraq. Thank you. Is the delegate, would the delegate like to yield the floor back to the chair or to another delegate? The delegate would like to yield the floor back to the chair. Thank you. Time for this amendment has now elapsed. So we'll now move directly to time against. Are there any delegates that would speak against this amendment to the first degree? Delegate of France, you've been recognized. Point of information to the chair. Oh, that is in order. Motion to move to previous question. Are there any seconds? Second. Are there any objections? Seeing as you're not, that motion will be entertained. We'll now move directly into time. We'll now move directly into voting procedures. Are there any delegates that wish to speak? The chair is not corrected. All delegates must vote for or against. All. The chair reminds the House that, P that any votes against made by P5 nations will be counted as a veto. All delegates voting for, please press the check mark, and all the delegates voting against, please press the cross mark. With 11 votes for and 0 votes against, this amendment passes. Please make the relevant changes in your resolution. We'll now move back to the debate on the resolution as a whole. Are there any in the House at this time? Are there any delegates that wish to speak on the resolution as a whole? Delegate of UK. Oh, the chair is corrected. Delegate of China, you know, you've been recognized. Thank you, Chair. The delegate has introduced an amendment, amendment number two on the resolution. That is in order. The amendment reads, calls for the immediate withdrawal of all forces in the borders of Iraq, unless otherwise mandated by the United Nations. The Chair sets a close debate time of three minutes for and three minutes against. Delegate, you have the floor. Honorable Chair and esteemed delegates, <clears throat> when President George Bush announced that he would send American troops into Iraq, the international community was devastated. Such actions are clear violations of national sovereignty, especially when a nation is invading another for no reason but for monetary gain. The United States never had any political reason to enter the country. They simply wanted the nation's oil. Yet, still today, nearly 10 years later, we still have thousands of troops in, the, in Iraq, many of which are from the United States. They claim to be rebuilding the country, to institute democracy, 
to change it for the better and to make it a Western country. But delegates, Iraq is not a Western country. It must be rebuilt on its own means. And we cannot have troops of other nations influencing a country at such important times like this. We cannot have troops insisting that a government is run a certain way. We cannot have troops insisting that a government have certain elections. It must come from within the country. It must be self-governed, self-contained, and the social contract between citizen and government must exist within the country and not be influenced by any outside troops, be them UN peacekeeping forces, be them US troops, or be it UK troops, Chinese troops, any nation, any NGO should not have the right to function within the borders of Iraq unless otherwise mandated by the United Nations and unless otherwise approved by Iraq, a member of the United Nations. Thank you. Thank you. Is the delegate open to any point of information? Any and all. The delegate has opened himself up to any and all points of information, but due to time constraints, the chair will only entertain two. Are there any in the House at this time? Delegate France and USA. You can recognize in that order, please. Does the delegate of China not realize and see that at the time of the invasion, uh, the invasion that George Bush uh, called upon, that Iraq was a country hosting terrorists? Uh, such as Saddam Hussein, and that uh, the invasion was uh, was almost a must to be carried out. Thank you, delegate. Could the chair please inform the delegate of France that he would like to kindly laugh at the delegate of France? See what happened when the United States found Saddam Hussein. Did he have weapons of mass destruction? No, he is living underground, armed with just a pistol. Delegates, is this a weapon of mass destruction? More powerful than the multiple thousands of nuclear weapons the United States possesses? The multiple thousands of nuclear weapons that the United States possesses that could potentially destroy the human race. The United States owns the world's weapons of mass destruction. They are in fact, and in often cases, the threat to the free world, and it is not Iraq, and it has never been Iraq. Thank you. Delegate of USA. Referring to the point made by the delegate, um, <clears throat> stating that Iraq uh, was in no way uh, a threat to the US, um, wouldn't the delegate agree that um, uh, it is uh, also Iraq's fault? The delegate said that it's USA's fault, that it's Iraq's fault for not being transparent in the records being provided for the UN and the USA uh, regarding its uh, weaponry, which is actually mandatory for all member states. Thank you. Could the chair please ask the delegate of the United States to rephrase his question, perhaps more succinctly? Could the delegate of the United States of America please rephrase his point of, point of information? Wouldn't the target believe that um, the invasion of Iraq, Operation Iraqi Freedom, followed the non-existence of transparency in the records of the Iraqi government, uh, who uh, failed to provide uh, sufficient data and about the weaponry uh, it possessed at the moment, which is uh, mandatory for all member states uh, for all member states of the UN to a certain extent? Uh, could the chair please inform the delegate of the United States that so the solution, according to the United States, is apparently to invade Iraq, to completely reinstitute the government, to decide how the government is run, to decide that the government should have general elections, and to create civilian uh, distaste for the United States and the Western world in general? Is that the solution to not having transparency? That has never been the solution, and the delegate does not deny the fact that there is no transparency within Iraq. There may still no be transparency in Iraq, and that is testament to the fact that United States invasion into, the, into Iraq or any other nation's invasion into Iraq does not fix the problem. It, in fact, aggravates it more.
Thank you. Would the delegate please yield the floor back to the chair or to Dr. Uh The delegate believes that a uh, second point of information was asked by an, another delegate. He may be one, though. From what this delegate, I, from what this chair knows, the delegate of USA was in second point of information. Apologies, Chair. The delegate yields the floor back to the chair. Thank you. Time for this event. The first degree has now elapsed. We'll now move directly into time against. Are there any delegates that wish that would like to speak against this amendment to the first degree? Delegate of Colombia, you've been recognized. The Delegate of Colombia submitted an amendment to the second degree. That is in order. The amendment to the second degree reads, add to clause two, subclause A, urges UN peacekeepers to station themselves in Iraq by the end of 2012 and stabilize the security crisis in Iraq. Subclause B, ask the government of Iraq to allow the peacekeepers to enter the country and to take action and if required under their supervision. The chair sets a close debate time of three minutes for and three minutes against. Delegate of Columbia, you now have the floor. Following the delegate of um, China's speech and how any action of military intervention or anything should not be carried out unless it has been mandated by the United Nations, the delegate of Colombia has taken a step asking UN peacekeepers, which are under the control of the Security Council, to station themselves in Iraq. These UN peacekeepers would work hand in hand with the UNAMI police force, and the UNAMI police force would help and first of all con in um, suppressing the, uh, uh, the sectarian violence. Meanwhile, the UN peacekeepers would make sure that the violence does not arise again. It would make sure that there are clear-cut borders between different, par uh, different parts, and it would monitor the peace and the sanctity uh, of the different places um, in Iraq. Thank you. Is the delegate open to any point of information? The delegate is open to two points of information. The delegate has opened himself up to two points of information. Are there any in the House at this time? The chair repeats. Are there any delegates that wish to speak? The chair has corrected. Are there any points of information in the House at this time? Seeing as you're none, would the delegate please yield the floor back to the chair or to another delegate? The delegate yields the floor back to the chair. Thank you. The floor is now open for a time for this amendment. Are there any in the House? Are there any delegates that would speak for this amendment? The chair repeats, are there any delegates that wish to speak for this amendment? Delegate of France, you've been recognized. Points of information to the chair. Yes. Motion to uh, move to previous question. Are there any seconds? Second. Second. Are there any objections? Seeing as you're not, that, that will be exchanged. We'll now move directly to time against this amendment. Are there any delegates that would speak against this amendment? Delegate Portugal, you've been recognized. Delegate Delegate. The delegate of Portugal, firstly, um, would like to say, why should, um, why should troops be removed? when these troops are doing their jobs to an acceptable degree. Replacing these troops with UN forces, ones who may not be trained or may not have the greatest track record in the past, would be an inefficient option with detrimental long and short term effects. Hence, the delegate believes that these two subclasses are not necessary and would simply just remove what is already there and remove something that 
has already been deeming well to a country and replace it with something that is less that, that is less trained and is not as uh, educated as the other or not as yeah, the diligence stands corrected uh, and opens herself to one point of information. Thank you. Uh, the delegate has opened herself up to one point of information. Are there any in the house at this time? Delegate Columbia, you've recognized. Does the delegate not believe that um, placing UN peacekeepers would show international agreement by the United Nations community and would give the idea to Iraq rather than separate nations such as the US or UK breaching the sovereignty of Iraq as a whole? The delegate understands that, yet what the delegate was highlighting is that um, UN peacekeepers are lesser trained and it would generally have a, a, a bad and negative outcome on the country as a whole. Yes, it would bind nations together and it would show also, uh, apologies, would the delegate rather have poorly trained soldiers causing chaos just to show unity? The UN peacekeepers, yes, they are there to bind together nations, but they are not, as the delegate has mentioned earlier, as trained and it would not be an efficient option. Thank you. Will the delegate please yield the floor back to the chair or to another delegate? The delegate yields the floor to the chair. Uh, was that the delegate? Uh, the delegate would like to ask the chair why the delegate of Colombia answered that. Uh, but yes, the delegate would like to yield the floor back to the chair. Uh, Dollar of Colombia, it was the Dollar of Portugal who had the floor. So um, please do not interrupt speakers and finish their sentences for them. And a reminder to the house, please do not uh, chat on the main forum, rather private message individuals. Also, uh, time will now move directly into time. Will now move directly into voting procedures on this amendment to the second degree. Delegates are there will be votes for and against. All votes for uh, for all votes for, please click the check, and all votes against, please click the cross. With three with four votes for and seven votes against, this amendment fails. We'll now move directly to board procedures on the first degree amendment, which reads, which is the second degree amendment without the added subclauses. There will be votes for and against. Delegates voting for, please click the check button, and all voting against, click the X button. Delegates are reminded to vote. All delegates are reminded that all delegates must vote. Delegate Russia, please cast your votes. With six votes for and five votes against, this amendment to the first degree passes. Please make the relevant changes in your resolution. We'll now move back into time clock. On the resolution as a whole, are there any delegates that wish to speak on the resolution as a whole? Delegate of UK, you've been recognized. The delegate has submitted an amendment number four. <laughs> that is in order. The amendment reads to add clause four. Clause four increased political stability and decides to assist the Iraqi government in ensuring governmental sustainability by uh, certainty as due to sectarian and political divisions. 
key ministerial positions, such as for defense and interior, has been unfilled for months. The chair sets a close of a ton of two minutes, of three minutes for and three minutes against. Delegate, you now have the floor. Thank you very much, Chair. The delegate would like to introduce clause four because the delegate feels that nothing would ensure the stability of the region. Quite like ensuring political stability because if if the Security Council can get the people at the top of the rap on board together, working collaboratively, <coughs> collaboratively and working together, we can ensure that they will do everything they can to um, will do everything they can to ensure the safety of the, the safety of their citizens. So uh, these posts have been left empty for months because of the conflicts that's, that are going on in Iraq, and we uh, have a an obligation to help fill these posts and help to bring stability back politically, and by extension, bring stability back throughout the whole country. Thank you very much. Is the delegate open to any points of information? The delegate is open to two points of information. The delegate has opened himself up to two points of information. Are there any in the House at this time? Tell of Portugal and India, you can recognize in that order, please. Uh, the delegate of Portugal is wondering, how does the delegate of the UK uh, uh, ask for increased political stability, how would this political stability be increased? Because this is not highlighted in the clause. That's a very good question. Maybe increase is the wrong word. Maybe established is the word that the delegates are looking for. Because currently, political stability in Iraq is very low. Uh, when, the, when the minister of defense position is not filled for almost half a year, that's when we know that the government is failing to operate properly. And we, as a as a the Security Council, we need to uh, assist the Iraqi government in finding suitable candidates for these roles, assisting these candidates in their roles, and making sure that the government can operate to its maximum capacity and therefore bring stability to the nation as a whole, saving lives every day. Following on from the delegate of Portugal's point, how does the delegate then believe that political instability should be established? I think the, dele the delegate of India stands correct if you said how does political instability be established. Um, I'm, I'm looking for political stability as a delegate. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure we all are looking for stability. But uh, how can it be established through ensuring that the competent candidates are implemented in the roles where they'll succeed the most? Where we can go in, we can assess who is in the party, we can assess who is the, who is the right people in politics, and we can therefore, from that, put them in the right roles, uh, bring stability to the political party, and save lives as a whole. Thank you. With Doug, please hold the floor back to the chair. Yes, I uh, the delegate yield the floor back to the chair. Thank you. Time for this amendment to the first degree has now elapsed. We'll now move directly into time again. Also, uh, just note to the delegates, uh, clause two, which was submitted by China, was in fact vetoed by the delegate of the United States of America. The chair stands corrected and apologizes for his mistake. Are there any delegates that wish to speak? against this amendment to the first degree submitted by the delegate to UK. Delegate of China, you can recognize. Um, could the chair please kindly point out what number clause this is again as the delegate of China seems to have lost it. 
it is called clause five. It is clause five. Got it. Thank you, Chair. Uh, wait, sorry. Uh, that being the beta sign is wrong in place. It's clause four. Sorry, delegate. Thank you, Chair. Honorable Chair, esteemed delegates, the delegate of China comes to you again to point out the same fact. In Iraq for the past 10 or so years, we have been doing just this. We have been forcing a democracy. We have been forcing elections. We have been forcing political individuals into powers, into positions of authority. And look where it has gotten us. Look at Iraq. Look at the stability in the nation. Look at the fact that they don't even have a defense minister yet. Delegates, the fact is simple. We can't simply institute who we decide to think is best for the nation because we aren't citizens of Iraq and we aren't participating in the democracy of Iraq. The delegate of China is all in favor of appointing positions of power without uh, allowing citizens to vote or without uh, promoting a democratic election. But the fact is, these decisions need to be made internally by the nation of Iraq, not by the United Nations. And this clause cannot stand if we are to protect and to enforce national sovereignty for every nation. For this will lead us down a slippery slope and sets bad precedents for the rest of the world. Thank you. Thank you. Is the target open to any points of information? The delegate is open to any and all points of information. The delegate has opened himself up to any and all points of information. But these time constraints, the chair will only entertain three. Are there any delegates that wish the chair sounds correct? Are there any points of information in the House at this time? Delegate of France and Portugal. You've been recognized in that order, please. Does the delegate, uh, is the delegate implying uh, that uh, a revolution such as uh, one taking in the in the Arab Spring in Egypt and Libya take place in Iraq? It's certainly not insinuating such a thing. And in fact, the delegate thinks that the Arab Spring is nothing but nonsense and calls the nations in the Arab Spring to look at China, for example, and to see how it has regulated its citizens to ensure safety for all of us, and in fact is insisting that the government of Iraq choose its own ministers and not the government of the United States and not the government of France or the United Kingdom or the United Nations. Does the delegate uh, not agree that aside from this clause also breaching sovereign rights, it is extremely vague and can be misinterpreted in several different ways? Certainly. The delegate had to reread this clause two or, th two or three times to fully understand it, and it is very reminiscent of George Orwell's 1984, where language is slippery, it is sloppy, and it has double meanings that can easily be abused by any government or any uh, organization that implements it. Thank you. Would the delegates please yield the floor back to the chair or to another delegate? The delegate yields the floor back to the chair. Thank you. Time against this amendment to the first degree has now elapsed. We will now move directly into voting procedures. All, there will be votes for and against. All delegates voting for, please click the check. All delegates voting against, please click the cross. With four votes, uh, with four votes for and six votes against, and multiple vetoes, this amendment to the first degree fails. Please do not make the changes in your resolutions. We'll now move back to the open debate on the resolution. Well, the chair will entertain one final speaker. There will be no points of information. Are there any delegates in the house that wish to speak on the resolution as a whole for one final time? On a point, uh, on a point required to the chair. Uh, please rise and state your points. 
would it be possible to clear every or to strike out every uh, amendment that has not been passed due to time constraints so that the delegates can clearly see what is the resolution? That is in order. The delegate will, uh, the chair will quickly get to that. The three clauses on the board are the only remaining clauses of debates. The chair will now entertain one final speaker for this resolution. Are there any delegates that wish to speak on the resolution as a whole? Delegate of Germany, you've been recognized. This delegate would like to make clear that this delegate is strongly in opposition of this resolution. However, this delegate does not oppose it because that because of the clauses not being good or watertight. However, this delegate believes that it should be opposed as it is very short and is all over the place. It is not making a clear point on the question of, of Iraq and it seems that it is only a resolution to make progress. We as a Security Council must not allow this resolution to pass as it is shameful for us. It is not clear. It has one clause on in introducing a UNAMI police force, one clause of condemning acts of sectarian violence, and another clause about the UNAMI. It does not address other issues such as the lack of government, uh, lack of um, some ministerial positions in Iraq. It does not address Camp Ashraf, which is a big issue at the time. And by passing this resolution, it gives a bad implication on the Security Council as it is merely um, progress for progress's sake and not for making a clear change in the world. Thank you. Thank you. Due to time constraints, there will be no points of information. Would the delegates please yield the floor back to the chair? So yielded. Thank you. We'll now move into voting procedures on the resolution as a whole with the three clauses up on the pad. There will be votes for, against, and abstentions. All delegates may vote for all P5 nations voting against. This will be counted as another uh, veto. Just a reminder. Sorry, delegates, there will be no um, extension on debate time, seeing that there are some delegates that need to go in a hurry, and the chair does not have enough time to chair for another 10, 15 minutes or so. Also, another reminder, all delegates must vote. There's a requirement. Thank you. Could the chair please repeat the voting order? A would be a vote, and uh, what follows? A would be vote, voting for, B would be against, also veto for P5 nations, and C is abstention.
with one vote for, seven votes against, three abstentions, and numerous vetoes. This amendment fails. Clapping is not in order.